What's up, what's up, what it do, cyber world? It's your girl, the one and only Ash Brown. And this is the Ash Brown Uncensored Show. On this program, I talk a little bit about everything. It may be pop culture related. It may be Ash Brown related. You just got to stay tuned to see what exactly I'm going to talk about. Now, today is a funny day. I just had to laugh because the going joke in my family is Ash don't keep friends. Ash don't keep friends. Ash don't keep friends. So it's just like always like just the going joke in the family because they know me and they know I am just not here for the foolishness. I'm not here for it at all. And it's not that I just, hmm, let's see, how should I phrase this? It's not that I just discard people. It's just a lot of times people just grow apart. We're on two completely different wavelengths and we don't understand each other. So why are we trying to be friends still? Mm -hmm. So it's just one of those things that it just, you know, I, I don't keep friends. I don't make friends often. I can make nice with anybody. I can get along with everybody up until the, you know, the sky is full. You know, I can totally do that. That's not even in question. But as far as we keeping friends, no, because people always do some real rando shit and something that's really crazy. And then they expect you to just forgive and forget or just let it go. Or it's water under the bridge. No, you did some real crazy stuff and I'm not going to ignore it. I'm not going to cuss you out. I'm not going to tell you where you should go. I'm not going to talk about your mama. I'm not going to do any of those things. I'm just not going to deal with you anymore. That's it. I'm just not going to deal with you. I'm not going to cuss you. I'm nearly 40. Okay. This year, your girl goes to the big four. All right. And I'm so grateful and thankful to be in this place in my life. But the number one thing that is priority for me daily is my peace. <laughs> my peace. Like as a kid, you hear about you know, having peace of mind and being peace, but you don't really fully know or understand what that means until you're an adult and people want to bring you foolishness. People want to bring you the dumb stuff. And I just refuse to take it. I just refuse to take it. For many, 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 many years, I would take on other people's stresses Take on other people's problems and find solutions and just help everybody who had their hand out. Help everybody. Just just overextending myself. And it got me nowhere. You know what it got me? It got me extra stressed. You know what it got me? It shortened my pockets a little bit, all right? And ultimately, I was not happy. I was happy. In order for me to get back to the happy place or the good place, I had to just remove myself from the equation. That's it. Point blank, period. And if me removing myself from the situation is not answering a text, not calling back, not answering an email, well then, buy a clue. Buy a clue. Because Ash don't keep friends. She don't. The very few people, I have a good circle of people that are very close to me, very near and dear to me. As I make life decisions and life choices, they're all on board. They're all in the know with what's going on with me. My next move, why I'm doing this, why I'm doing that, how I'm moving here, how I'm moving there. And I consult with them to let them know, not to ask for permission And not to ask for their acceptance. But that's what true friends do. Is we listen to each other. We listen to each other. And we support one another. So now that I've got my core group of friends. No new friends. You know. I'm going to have to quote some Drake. No new friends. No new friends. None. I don't have the time for it. I don't have the energy for it. And all the others that fell off. They took some of that with them. So, no, I don't have any bad words for anybody. I don't hate on anybody. I don't hate anybody. 
I am just in a place in my life where my peace is paramount to every other thing. And I'm not going to allow other people, other entities to interfere with it. That's just me. I I can't speak for anybody else. But since I've done that, I found the most peace, y'all. I have found the most peace that I never even knew existed. Never even knew. Had no clue. And I love it. I absolutely love it. To come home and you put stuff down and it stays in that same spot. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Or if you're sleeping in on a Saturday afternoon, you don't hear neighbors running up and yelling and throwing stuff around. It's peace, y'all. And I would never put a price tag on my peace. I would never in this life today. I'm not talking about Ashley from yesteryear that gave a lot of time, a lot of energy out. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. I conserve my energy because it is so important and vital to my every being. That's it. So, yeah, Ash don't keep friends. No new friends. No new friends. <laughs> I'm cool and cordial with everybody, but there comes a point where you have to just block the foolishness. Block the BS and keep going. Keep moving forward, boo-boo. Keep it moving. Anyways, I hope that you guys have a great, fantabulous week. I love you all to pieces. Keep pushing forward no matter what. And follow me on social media. All right. I'm all across social media. One Love Ash, the number one L O V E A S H. I'll holla later.